There are three months left before the end of the year. How are you going to spend this time? What are you going to do so that you can hit the ground running in 2024 and hopefully have this upcoming year be the one where your dreams come true, where you are moving your career forward in a positive, artistic way? I've got a whole bunch of ideas for you. Write yourself a contract. What are the things that you want to accomplish before the end of the year? Have a friend, have a coach, have somebody look at it and sign it, be a witness to it. What are the things that you're going to put on there? What are the things that you want to do for your health and your body? Do you want to lose weight? Do you want to get more fit? Do you want to build some muscle? I love uh, the fitness app by Jillian Michaels, but there's lots of other wonderful resources out there. You know, you don't get a lot of heads up before you're going to do a scene in a bathing suit or disrobed. So don't be waiting for that role to come through. I've been there. I've done that. I've been scared. <laughs> it's much better to be prepared for it and feel healthy, to feel your best. I know I'm a broken record, but are you working on your voice? Are you working on a dialect? Are you working on being fluent in another language? You can do that in three months. Maybe not fluent, but conversational. Three months can be a lot of time. Another thing I like for people to do, self-tape a day. Now, that seems a lot, but just one week. A self-tape a day. Three takes and then you're done. You don't have to show it to anybody. You just have to get in that habit. Don't make it so precious. Just get used to it. The more you do anything, right, practice, the better it's gonna be. If you do one a day for a week, much less, what if you did three a week for three months? How many self-tapes would you have? I don't wanna do the math, but you know what I'm saying, right? They don't need to be perfect self-tapes. Don't send in your masterpiece. First of all, there is no perfection, right? So when you try to have the perfect audition, you're gonna spend a bunch of time making yourself frustrated, less creative, less free, and a more stilted audition, quite honestly. But every day, it just becomes easy. What you practice, you get better at. And also what you let go, you get better at. So if you're trying to sketch, draw, paint, the first couple of times, it's gonna look awful, right? If you're not trained in that. But the more you do it, you get into the flow. Almost everybody will tell you that we're on, when you're on set, that's the easy part. That's the fun part. There you are with your co-star, you know what you're doing, you're, you've prepared for it. The auditions are the hard part. That's the part where you get into your head, where you start overanalyzing, analysis paralysis. It's gotta be perfect, it's gotta be this. So just practice, 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 not making them so precious. Just knowing that like, probably your first three takes are gonna be perfect for an audition. I think exposure therapy is fantastic. Doing the thing that scares you. And now most of you have already had a taste of it. There's very few people, once they're an adult, who feel very comfortable jumping into the acting pool, so to speak, to just say, here I am, I'm doing this. I'm a, you know, whatever it is that's not you. So do what scares you. Is doing a scene in your bathing suit terrifying to you? Do a self-tape in your bathing suit. Nobody has to see it. Nobody. But you'll get over it. Hopefully, do your week of self-tapes in a bathing suit. Whatever it is that you're afraid of. I'm having some of my students, I'm non-singers, forcing them to sing. They're terrified of starting. And then once they start, it's wonderful. And then they can do it again and again. Speaking Spanish. I'm back to that again, aren't I? Do a week of auditions in an accent. The more you do it, the more you get over that fear and you realize it's okay, you're okay, it's not as scary as you thought it was going to be, and now you did it, and now you've conquered it, and you can be proud of yourself and move on. You don't have to share this with anybody unless you put it on your contract. 
been, you know. But you don't have to share the tapes. You can use this time really wisely. Maybe you wanna to get to know yourself better. I love a book called The Four Tendencies by Gretchen Rubin, and she has a free quiz that you can take online to discover what it is that motivates you intrinsically, you know, from in the inside and externally from the outside. So it can help you figure out how to build those habits. What is it that you respond to? Just so happens that in my family of four, we are one of each tendency. So that's really helped me especially figure out how can I motivate my kids to make their bed or anything like that. And then there's Myers Briggs, love languages. There's all kinds of wonderful tests you can take to understand yourself better. I think it's really fun when you're diving deep into your character work to maybe think about your character. How would your character fall on the Enneagram or on any of these personality tests? We're gonna leave links to all of these tests, so if you wanna take them, pause the video, go take them, then come back, listen to more, save them for later. Think about your characters. Go back and review my video on diving deeper into your character work. My least viewed video, I believe. Really? Really? Nobody wants to dive deeper? Come on. Are you an actor? Are you a dabbler? Are you committed to this? Or are you just checking it out? It's okay if you know that you're not committed to this yet. But for those of you who are saying that you are, do it. Don't be lazy. Don't shortchange yourself. And it really does only shortchange you. What else can you do? Write, journal, write a screenplay. In three months, yes, there's a wonderful book, how to write a, a screenplay in 21 days. I don't know that it's gonna be a great screenplay, but what the heck? You've got time if you're not working because of the strike. Of course, if you're a WGA member, you're not supposed to be writing during the strike. So, can you save some money? I know, nobody wants to be told to save money. But remember, money's purpose is to be spent, right? So what are you spending it on? Save it and spend it in the things that you truly love and value. Maybe you wanna get really nice Christmas presents for your family. Well, start saving now. Maybe you wanna make sure that you can afford your acting classes in January. Make sure you drop lots of hints to families. You know, we can give you a gift card. But also to save your money for that, what it is that you value. Maybe you need to be getting new headshots in the new year, so you need to do that research now. See who's offering specials right now, if they are. Why don't you add an improv class? I think most actors don't understand how important improv is. It's not just if you want to do SNL. It's not just doing funny, comic characters, it really immerses you in talking and listening and being free of the script so that you can explore the character and the relationships and the objectives. So I love improv. Of course, we've got one here at Spicer Sturgis that's starting up with an amazing teacher, but I'm sure there's other ones near you if you're not close to us or it doesn't work with your schedule. We just had a staged combat class. How much fun was that? Take something like that. Go out and horseback ride. Oh, this is part of what I'm doing to become a more well-rounded actor. It's not gonna hurt. So in the three months before the new year, we've got a couple of holidays coming up, Thanksgiving. I love to, I love to use this time to study families and family dynamics and characters, like what is it about Uncle Joe that's so weird? What is it about your aunt that just drives you up a wall? What is that relationship that's working? Who in your family is that passive aggressive person? Who's playing the victim? Whatever it is, it's your superpower. You can look at them and you can start to analyze them as characters. That You can maybe start taking some of it. I can, oh, I can use a little of that in my character. I can use a little of that. Oh, that relationship between my uncle and my nephew, that's like the relationship that I have with my, my boss in my script that I'm working on. So I think it's kind of fun to do that too. It also helps you if the holidays are a little stressful and tense for you, you've got another way of approaching it. Maybe like you're a, you know, an undercover actor gathering research. 
what you can accomplish in three months. I hope you're gonna let me know. I hope you're gonna say, look at my contract, look what I did. I am a fit Spanish speaking. I can do any dialect and I am ready to book that new job because I got my agent in place and I've read all of these books during the break and my self tapes are the bomb. How does that feel to start 2024 off, huh? And if you really want to get me a present, take care of yourself. Do your work. Let me be proud of you. Let me say, oh, you did what you said you were gonna do. That's what makes a teacher the happiest. Thank you for watching. As usual, please, please like, subscribe, comment, recommend us to a friend. Thank you. I just got buzzed by the by the fly. You really <laughs> I did. Oh, That's a weird place to end, but <laughs> It's funny because it's true. <laughs> Begin, ah, that was just a word salad there. That was not blah, 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 blah. Um, yeah, um, that was not a good outro to that. Um, <laughs> exposure therapy, I think is fantastic. I think exposure therapy is fantastic. Mm -hmm.